Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're back doing an Amsoil Power Foam on Jeff's beautiful Toyota Corolla. And let's ask Jeff what he's going to do. Hey, Jeff, what are we going to do today? We're going to Power Foam the Corolla. Awesome. We're trying well, to get rid of the rest of that piston slap, and I figure the Power Foam has a lubricant in there. Hear it? Wrap at the end. Oh my god. We're gonna erase that shit, so it's time to get this car warm. Alright? <laughs> Let's start getting inside. That's right, inside the engine, and we're gonna take out some stuff. So, Jeff, what type of stuff are we gonna be taking out of this engine? I'm gonna come in right about here. Underneath here is the evap line. All right. And that's the furthest forward on the throttle body. All right. So if I go in there, I can make sure I get a good foam disbursement through all the cylinders. Because if you pick anything further, it might just go into this one runner, this one, this one, that one. So we want this far back. Right. I have to do it that way because I have a mass airflow. And if I do the throttle body trick, it's going to stall because it's not getting a mass airflow reading. All right. So I just do it, skin the cat a different way. All right, we're gonna skin this cat. I'm gonna pull that top cover off. All right, let's yank her off. Meanwhile, while Jeff's yanking off the valve cover, take a look, he's got his basic socket set. That's gonna allow us to get to the throttle body. I wanted to mention the power foam. What this is, this is a cleaner that removes gunk varnish out of the heads, out of the cylinders. It actually removes all those years of carbon, restoring your engine's efficiency your efficiency to seal that cylinder. The better seal, the more compression, uh, the better your valves will be, and this cleans everything. How do you use it? You can use it on ATVs, marine engines, motorcycles, lawn care, tractors, automotive. Just wanna avoid all your sensors, mass airflow sensors, oxygen sensors. You wanna just stay away from any of those sensors up front. Make sure it goes directly into that engine. You let her sit for 10 to 15 minutes once you spray it in. But we're gonna actually do this step by step. You're gonna see us do it right here and live in color. And believe me, you're gonna see a lot of good color. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get to our ah, oh, very, very good. Nice and easy one here. So I told you I'm picking. I'm gonna go in here through the evap. Now, if you look, what does evap mean, Jeff? Ah, evaporative emission system. So the evaporative emission system. If you were to pour gasoline on the ground, it just evaporates, right? Well, we don't want to lose our fuel to evaporation. Our atmosphere does not want to get that crap up there. So what we do is we take the fuel vapor, what would normally go out to the world, and we capture it inside of a carbon canister. All right. It holds the fuel vapor. It's still viable, burnable fuel. And when it's ready, it opens this little valve right here. This valve is called the evap purge valve. Wow. It sucks the fuel vapor from the canister and actually burns it inside the motor. Wow. So we don't waste any fuel whatsoever. That's why if you have a gas cap code, people say, oh, I need a gas cap or something like that. That's monitoring that EVAP system specifically. Wow. So, cool. This is stuff I didn't know nothing about. Yes, yeah, so good, for good discovery. So uh, let's, let's get that in this hand here. Go Are ahead. Are we gonna tag team it, Jeff? Are we I tag think teaming? So. All right, I, I think guess so. I'm on the throttle. Jeff's on the can of power foam. Give it a good shake, Jeff. Get in there. <laughs> And I guess. All right, let's now, do this. How many RPM do I want to keep it at, Jeff? Uh, as low as possible, just to keep it running. All right, just okay. to keep her running. Just to keep her we running. We don't want her to stall. No, we do not want it to stall. All right. We got it up to operating temperature. We're gonna do the foam as soon as I say stop. We're gonna turn it off, and the car's gonna sit for 15 minutes while we let that foam do its magic. All and right. then we're gonna make a smoke show. All right, good cool. to go. I'm in. Start her up. Let's do it, Jeff. <laughs> There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Caution. Caution. That's, that's all right.
as he's starting to quiet up a little bit, that knock sound is going away. It's kind of amazing. And now I know what it tastes like. If you saw, it kind of tastes like power foam. Don't try that at home, kids. It's not edible for anybody other than me. Make sure we're still flowing. We got some good foam flow here. Take the can a little bit. Engine's quieting down a lot. It is. It's gonna be like a brand new smooth running engine. This car's never seen this before. Doesn't even know what power foam is. Oh, we're sitting about, what's the clock's in there? About 120 something. Go through it, let me cycle. 154? Okay. 154. So not a lot of miles for this car. We should be able to make this thing run to 300,000 easy. Oh my God. Still foaming. Yeah, oh look. Are we getting any smoke out of the exhaust Are yet? Are we getting any smoke yet? Oh, there we go. I can feel it. We're going to start smoking right now. Yeah. I can feel it. She's preloading. Looks like they're splooging out smoke. I think I saw smoke. Are you still right, down to the wire? All right. You're still straining the same hose? Yeah. Wow. All right, even kill it. There we go. I can feel some good stumbles. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna make a hell of a show. This is gonna be a blast, right. Jeff. I'm gonna go wash my face and my glasses now. Wow, yeah. Jeff's a war hero. All right, we'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, let's get some smoke going. Let's do it. Have right, a take for a drive. We're gonna All right, I'm it. coming around, Jeff. One second. All right, Jeff's gonna go ripping around the block. All right, Jeff. Here we go, guys. All right, let's see what she's got. Time for the smoke. Show. Wow, I've never seen a Corolla move like that in my life. This has power. Vroom, vroom. All right, we're back. How does she feel, Jeff? Running smoother. Uh, we're going to have to let it work in to see whether or not, because we haven't stopped smoking yet. So once she's done smoking, I'll uh, I'll let you know how she feels. We had a 50-50 shot. Like I always say, you can't necessarily fix a mechanical problem with a chemical, but here's our best shot to it. All right. I love that. There's never, uh, uh, you never can be afraid to try, right? Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, exactly. All right, Jeff, what's the verdict? Well, the verdict is um, we've cleaned it out. It's running smoother. I still have a little bit of noise, but here's the thing. It's a chemical treating a mechanical issue, so I'm going to give it about a full tank of gas, which right. is 370, 375 miles. If it works out, I'm happy as all get out. If it doesn't work out, well, I bought a used car. You know what I mean? I put money into it to take care of some of the little stuff. The engine thing I wasn't ready to get into yet. It, the oil changes weren't done frequently. Before I started so, servicing this car, it already had, the guy I bought it from, it already had about 85,000 miles on it. All right, so Jeff, if someone has this car right now, yeah. and they only have 60,000 miles, okay. what can they do to it right this second so it doesn't get like this? Well, I mean, one of the things I did to quiet it down is I did an AMSOIL motor flush, and then I All did... Right. This over here? Yeah. I don't think I have one up 
All right, we don't have an engine flush up. We're looking much. sad right now. We, 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 we did an engine flush. flush. Yep. We so did I've done. Flush. I've actually done an engine flush. I've done it twice. All right. Um, each time I get a little bit better. Um, I've done the OE. I haven't put signature in because I do know I have to do further work, and I'm not going to dump a hundred dollars in oil in a car that I might have to tear an engine apart. All right. So that being said, um, we'll do a follow-up 375 miles from now. It'll either be better or it won't. But right. I'm still, I'm going to roll it till the wheels fall off. I like it, Jeff. Thanks for the update. Now, Jeff is the master mechanic on the channel. If you're new to the channel, definitely check out every Thursday night with Eben and Jeff. Subscribe. Plus guests. Plus guests. Yeah, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell. You'll get notified when we put our next video up. And Jeff is a master mechanic. So he's got how many years of experience? And check out the badge. He is the magic mechanic. The magic mechanic. Take a look. Boom. The magic mechanic. Right there. It's even on the back of the car now. We got a yeah, plate. It is. We got the plate. So, Official. So definitely, if you have any questions about this stuff, reach out to Jeff. <laughs> Jeff is the man that speak with. And uh, as always, I'm your host, Even. What do you say, Jeff? That's Let's it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. The protection, protection, protection. protection.